Hello and good afternoon. Um, my name is Stephen Kim of Healthy Expressions and uh, I'm in my car because I'm waiting for my uh, youngest son. He's getting braces today. And, um, you know, of course, because of the pandemic, we can't uh, wait inside the lobby. So I'm in my car. So I was thinking about this uh, the last couple of days. Um, I know that I've been talking about fear. We all have fears. Everyone has fears. Even, uh, you know, those people that say, you know, I'm not afraid of anything. There's no fear in my life. They are lying to you. And, I, you know, it really dawned on me that uh, it would be helpful if people had some things to help them um, to understand what to do when they have fear. And these are three things that I usually do, and it helps me a lot. Uh, the first thing is have a filter. Uh, that means that, uh, that there are things in your life that will discourage you, that will um, cause you to amplify those fears. And I think the number one thing that kind of amplifies our fears are people. And, you know, we all have people in our lives that are, you know, some are not dangerous, but the others are. And when I say dangerous is that they always give you kind of this negative vibe that they always tell you, you know, it's never going to work or you're never going to uh, amount to anything or uh, that, you know, you're trying something new again. It's not going to work. Um, and then there's people that love you, but they, you know, they um, don't purposely try to bring you down, but they do. And that's why you need a filter. Uh, and which goes on to the, my second point uh, is that you need to have cheerleaders in your life, meaning that there are people in your life, not to blow smoke up your butt, but they really care about you and they want the best for you and they want to encourage you. And so uh, those people, you need to have cheerleaders in your life to um, lift you up and to give you just little words of encouragement. And uh, for example, when I, I, you know, was first thinking about, you know, opening up this new project, this healthy expressions, you know, there was a lot of doubts and um, I talked to some people and I was initially um, afraid of their comments, but they really were people who loved me and uh, they really gave me words of encouragement and they said, yeah, I could clearly see you doing this or um, I know that you're going to do a great job. And so everyone needs cheerleaders in their life, which connects me to the last point is having a time each morning because a lot of times uh, when we face our fears, uh, they they just roam in our heads. And that's why, you know, having cheerleaders, you know, expressing those fears out loud to somebody, uh, they really help because a lot of those ideas and fears that run through our minds, it's not helpful, right? Because it just, it's on a treadmill continually giving us negative feedbacks. That's why we need cheerleaders. Um, when I say that we need this third part is that we need prayer and meditation. Every morning for myself, um, I spend time with God. I, I pray, I meditate. Sometimes I'm just quiet and listen to what God is saying to me. We need that because of this busy world, because of just all the noise. We need that time to kind of suppress that fear with something that's greater than ourselves and that's God. And we, we, everyone needs that time in the morning, five minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes, just to kind of hear that voice that's greater than those fears. And so I wanted to give you those three tips. One is uh, to get away from those toxic people who bring you down who always discourage you from anything. Second is we need to have cheerleaders in our lives to to help us, to encourage us uh, to overcome our fears. And third is, is to have a time of prayer and meditation each day to hear a voice greater than our fears to suppress them. So I hope that this is helpful. I pray 
and hope that you are doing well. You have a great Monday and uh, I will see you again later on. Bye.